Oh, that's not good. I know that file works fine. Without that license, the application won't run, so we need to stop this. Okay, uh, AVG in its great infinite wisdom has just broken one of my applications because it thinks it has a virus in it, which is very kind of it, but it's broken an application which I trust. So I need to get the system working again. So I've loaded up the antivirus application. I need to go to the menu and look at the quarantine. And there is the uh, SEO Autopilot license DLL, which it's decided is um, not good quality malware or whatever. Uh, now I happen to trust this application and I wish to use this application. So I need to tick the box. And at the bottom here, you have the option to delete. But if you press on the down arrow, you can actually see restore. And it says, do you want me to overwrite what's there? It had actually done it the first time, but didn't confirm that. So there we are. I've now restored the file and I can go back to using my application like I wanted to. If you are getting messages from AVG about files which are suspicious, but ones which you are happy with, there is one simple way of stopping AVG from taking them and putting them into quarantine, as it's just done to me. And that's to have them excluded from testing completely. So if we go from the main menu into the settings, you will see that there's a section here called exceptions. And in here, you can put the file directory of any files that you think need to be protected. For instance, my little badge program. And then you just check them and sit OK. And they're then added to a list of folders that will not be checked by AVG. But of course, be careful because if somebody puts malicious code into this directory now, it will not be checked by AVG and you will not, not know it's there causing problems. So be careful with its use, but that's the way you stop AVG taking away files that you know are okay. For more info, visit wpbusinessclub.com.